So quick tip here in InDesign on linked images versus embedded images. So which is better? If you have a lot of images, then linking is best as you can update them and make changes easily without increasing the size of your file. However, if you're not as organized with your files and you move or delete the images, then embedding your images is the way to go. Remember, it does come at a price, however, as embedding your images can increase the size of your InDesign file dramatically. But it does help to make sure that all your images remain if you move them or delete them. So let me show you real quick how to relink an image if you move it. If you look at this image right here, you'll see it's got that question mark on it. And over in my links window, if you don't see that panel, go up to your top, top menus to window and come down and select links. You'll notice in my links panel, there's this question mark here and it's on my image as well. That means that this file has been moved. If I look in my folder when I began this project, I had all of these images lined up here together. But then I created a Canyon Pix folder and I moved that picture that you see here into that folder. So InDesign no longer knows where that is located. Here's how you quickly relink it. Click on the image in your links panel, right click on the image and go to relink. Then you just need to locate the folder or the new location of where you have moved that image to and click it to select it and then click open. Now you'll notice the link appears instead of the question mark, both on my document and in my links panel. Now what about embedding? As you notice this first one right here, I have already embedded. Let me show you the steps on how to embed your images. I'll choose this one this time. It'll highlight over here, wherever I click, notice it highlights from the document. It also highlights in the links panel. So I'll click on this image here. Then I'm going to right click and choose embed link. Now it will change and it'll show an embed icon instead of the link. If you wanted to do multiple of these at the same time, select them in the document or in your links panel, right click and embed link. Now they will all be saved in here. So if you end up moving a file, let me show you. So now if I moved any of these other files that I have in here into a folder and I come back, they no longer show that missing link, that question mark, because these images are embedded. So which is best? So remember, staying organized and using links for your images will save your file size in InDesign and provide more flexibility for updating or changing your images. And embedding your images will ensure that they don't disappear if you move them or accidentally delete them. And that's the difference between linked images and embedded images inside of InDesign.